Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having a great day today. Um, today I'm very, very excited because I'm going to be showing you what I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, I used to be subscribed to Ipsy like way, way back in the day, back when they didn't have these plus tier, the ultimate tier, when they only had the little glam bag and it was $10 a month. Um, I don't know, something about Ipsy just drew me back in and when I saw that they had this tier I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. So this is my actually my first month of the Glam Bag Plus. So let me just open it up. So if you've never seen one of these and it's like, I don't know how you couldn't have, it does say discover yourself and then you've got your little box with all your goodies. So one thing that Ipsy does, which I think is cool, is offers you add-ons each month um, of products that people or you could have potentially received in your bag. So I actually did take advantage of the add-ons. And I'm gonna quickly go through my add-ons first because they're not actually part of what is included in the main box. So the theme for this month is actually get that glow. And I actually like how Ipsy, I don't know if they do this on all cards, uh, list the month and the year of when the box was from. Unfortunately, there's no product detail in here. Um, I've heard from past months that generally they do put product detail but this month, I guess they just didn't. So what I'm gonna have to actually do to look up the products is go onto the handy dandy Ipsy app, which I actually really enjoy that they have an app and yeah, kind of tell you the product information from my Ipsy app. So I have the app open, so let's go for that, but let's look over the add-ons first, actually. So I only got three this month, and add-ons, I think they're tiered, um, I guess more higher end expensive products are $16 and then they have $12 ones and then they have little $3 ones which are generally all sample sizes except for maybe like brushes. So I got some of the $3 ones, just a few things I really wanted to try out. So the first thing is actually this Naked Cosmetics and this is a vanilla cream lip scrub. I'm trying to find a lip scrub that really works well for my lips, so I was willing to try this out for $3. I feel like this might be full size, actually. So I'm going to give this an open because I'm probably going to immediately use it. And I want to just see what it looks like and how it smells. So it did come, you know, very nicely sealed. It did have this little covering on top of it. And it does... It smells like vanilla and cream, to be honest, but it also has maybe a slight hint of a chemically scent. So here's what it looks like. It is filled to the brim. So probably lasts quite a while. Um, it doesn't feel super thick, but I'm gonna have to give this a go and tell you what I think about it. It's kind of a little bit off-putting that it does have that chemically smell when you're putting it on your lips, but I'm gonna give it a... Um, test it out and see what I truly think of it. The next one that I got is this extremely teeny teeny tiny little sample of the Tarte Jelly Glaze, um, what's it called? Anytime Lip Mask, and this is in the, I guess, variation Strawberry Jelly, and it is so so tiny. If there's any comparison, like here's my pinky finger, and it's my pinky super tiny. It's like as big as my pinky finger. Um, I love lip products. My lips are extremely chapped majority of the time. I haven't found something that helps with my lips too, too well yet, so I'm always on the hunt for something that'll actually help. So it does come with a little safety seal on it. I'm actually going to keep that on until I'm ready to use it, but just pointing that out there. And then the last one I got, last add-on, was the a little sample of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I've never used this and I've wanted to try it out because I've heard a lot of people rave about it, especially for getting your lower lashes, which I struggle with. Um, so I'm excited to use this. Um, here's what it looks like. And I'm not going to open this up because I don't have plans to go into this quite yet. So this does say it is a super curling and lifting mascara, so we will see what it does because my eyelashes are kind of non-existent on most days and I don't wear falsies so I'm just not interested in that game. So anyway, those are the add-ons. So now let's get into the actual meat and potatoes, the box. So the first thing in my box is this and this is from Colored Rain and this is the Mimosa Moment eyeshadow palette. I've never used Colored Rain 
eyeshadow palettes or any of their products at all, actually. I don't own anything by Color Drain, but I know they had that Queen of Hearts palette, which like everybody really, really raves about, so I'm kind of excited to give this a go. Just opening the box, so it does come very nicely packaged. And here is the actual component, very sleek and rather basic. And it does show on the back that it is cruelty free, so I do like to see that. And then if you open it up, take the protective little plastic covering off, here is your eyeshadow palette. So this one is very basic neutral browns. Probably would be a very good travel palette, an everyday palette. These pans are a little bit small, but I'm honestly okay with that. I'm kind of over like extremely large pans because if anybody knows, like, it takes forever, forever to use up an eyeshadow, so give me smaller pants, like, I really don't care, so. Um, there was another variation of this, and it was a purple color. Um, I would have been happy with either or, really, so that is what this looks like. And then going on to the app, it says that this is, of course, full size, and the retail value is $22 on this little guy. And I will, let's, let's give you guys a little swatchy swatch, so let me swatch this kind of mid-tone brown shade, so... There it is on my finger. Here it is. So that actually swatched pretty darn well for a matte shade. And then let me do this kind of lighter shimmer shade. So there it is on my finger. And then swatching it on my wrist. That's what that looks like. So these do look pretty. And yeah, just very neutral and pretty. So I'm excited for this, actually. It's something that I will use, and I have no issues at all getting a very neutral palette. So the next thing that I'm pulling out is this um, Beauty For Real mascara. This is their High Def Volumizing Mascara, or def what's that say? Defining and Volumizing Mascara. So, and this is in the shade Just Black, so it is a black mascara. And just for reference, here is what the tube looks like. I'm not going to open this up because, again, like I said with the Benefit one, um, I'm not going to be using this just quite yet, so I want to make sure that it uh, maintains its freshness. And then looking at the app, uh, that mascara retails for $19. I kind of do want to show you, if I can, what the, um, what the mascara looks like. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's got an extremely, extremely tiny wand. So. I'm really interested to see how that works. I uh, imagine it would be good for your bottom lashes. I don't know about how good it would be for defining your top lashes, so I'm interested to give this a go. So I'm not like super upset about that or anything. The next product, what I am actually wearing on my lips today, is this um, Sugar Rush. So this is like Tarte's sister brand, like kind of uh, aimed towards preteens, I would say, like a younger audience, but you know, all their packaging is super cute. Um, Tarte Sugar Rush Sugar Coat Liquid Lipstick, and I got mine in the shade Cupcake. And some people online, of course, liked to complain about this color. So here's what the packaging looks like, because it's, um, a brownish color, but honestly, it's not that bad looking. It's very nude, in my opinion, and I actually really do like wearing brown lips, so, you know, teach their own. So here's the packaging. It kind of, um shows you a little bit what the color is going to look like, and it's a very nice matte packaging. It feels really nice. Um, and I know when these actually came out, I was interested in them, so I'm actually like pleasantly surprised and glad to get this in my um, Ipsy Glam bag. So if I pull this out, this is what the applicator looks like. It's a pretty standard doe foot, and this does smell sweet, kind of like cake um, vanilla-y, but it also has a slight chemical -y scent as well, so just, you know, be conscious of that. I will kind of just swatch this on my hand here. One thing I want to say about this, since I am wearing it today, is that it is an extremely moussey texture, and it feels really, really nice on the lips. Like, it's not drying at all. It's extremely, honestly, just super comfortable feeling because it is like a velvet moussey texture and I'm actually like really really happy with this product. So looking at the app, the retail price of that is $15 and all these products are full size as well so keep that in mind. So the next product in my box, um, this was something that I actually saw for the spoilers that I did want. This is the Nomad and what is it? Sydney Bathers um, collaboration. It's a bronzing and highlighting palette. This is a special edition Ipsy version. Um, 
You can buy this palette. This is the Kiss of Sun palette for reference. You can buy this on the Nomad Cosmetics website. It just looks different. This is, it's the same products. Um, it's just in a different layout. This square packaging is exclusive to Ipsy. So if we open this up, take out the little protective sheet, here is what it looks like. So the two at the top, these ones, are supposed to be highlighters and then these are bronzers. So you have a matte bronzer and a more shimmery bronzer. Um, I love bronzing. I love highlighting. I was extremely happy to get this because I'm, my choice item is going to be next. Um, but if I didn't choose what I chose, I would have chose this palette for sure. Um, I'm actually wearing it on my face today. The highlight is from this palette, very blinding, and then the bronzer that I'm using is this one down here called, had to double take, that one's called Manly Beach, and I think it's really, really pretty. I like it, it blended out nicely. Um, I have no complaints with this palette. I do want to say that it does have a scent to it, and I don't know if that's like a tropically scent, a suntan scent, but it like takes me back to childhood. It's um taking me back to somewhere, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but like it's such a unique scent. I just, oh, I love it. I could literally just sit here and smell this. Maybe it kind of smells like beach, like the beach or something, but it's so good smelling. So then looking at the app for this one, the um, retail price of this is $27, so pretty good. Excited for this. Oh, maybe I should swatch it. I'm like, what am I doing? So I'm gonna swatch this um, highlighter shade that I'm actually wearing today. So there it is. Hopefully you'll be able to kind of see. There it is. Just, it's so, so pretty. And then I'm going to sh uh, swatch this bronzer that I'm wearing today. And like me, I am pasty, pasty pale. But this is fine on my skin, you know, you blend it out a little bit and I feel like it, it would work for a lot of different skin tones, so I really like this. And then the last product, well first, I guess let me pull out the bag. Here's the bag for this month in case you haven't seen it. Um, it's a blue to yellow ombre. And then it does actually have a little yellow tassel on it, so it's quite a small bag actually, but um, I do like the design of this bag. Sometimes Ipsy bags are extremely hit or miss, but I actually do quite like the design of this bag. So then moving on to the last product in my box, and this was actually my choice item and it's probably like kind of a holy grail to some people. Um, this is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, um, what is it, all-in-one lactic acid treatment. So this is completely full size. Sunday Riley is a very well-known expensive skincare brand and the retail price of this is $85. So amazing. Um, this is an acid treatment. So let me just kind of show you or tell you what it does. Directions apply one to two pumps to clean dry skin as a leave-on treatment um, or if you have sensitive skin you can apply one to, th one to three pumps Leave on for 15 minutes and then rinse and, um, you know, wash it away. That's probably what I would do because my skin is kind of sensitive. Um, and it does say a sun alert. This product contains AHA, which can increase your risk of sun exposure, so be warned of that. But basically, here's what it says. It does deep, deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin visibly br brightens the appearance of dark spots and discolorations and instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes apparently. But yeah, it's just supposed to do a lot of really great stuff for your skin. And I say it's never too soon to start on a good skincare regimen. So here is what it looks like in the packaging, very bougie bougie. And then you take it out and it is, I don't, it does, I think this is a glass bottle. And then it does have a little pumpy pump on here which you twist to open it and close it. Um, But yeah, I'm excited to try this. Um, with acid treatments, I know it's gonna say, it says on the box to use it every day, but I'd probably start using it like once a week to see how it reacts to your skin because they can be very harsh um, if your skin's not used to it. So I'm gonna probably start with this once a week and see if I, um, see how much I can increase that. So I just kinda wanna give it a sniffy sniff because I love smelling everything. And this, it has a lot of lemongrass in it apparently. And you can for sure, for sure smell the lemongrass. Like, that's mainly the biggest thing that I smell in it, is a strong, strong scent of lemongrass, which, if you aren't keen to citrusy smells or lemony smells, I would recommend not going for this, but 
I think it smells really, really good. So that was the last product, the Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. So now if I were to rate everything out of this, um, so we have five products and each product could potentially get a point. So it could potentially be a five out of five bag um, or box, I should say. Let's go ahead and rate um, the products. So first, I just kind of want to touch. I'm not really going to add this in, but the bag this month super cute. I really do like this bag. Um, the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley, I'm going to give a point to. The um, Tarte Sugar Rush Lip um, Sugar Coat Lip Liquid Lipstick, I'm going to give a point to. The Nomad Cosmetics Palette, I'm going to give a point to. Actually, very excited for that. The High Def Mascara, I'm going to give half a point to because it is a mascara and, um, you know, it's kind of boring, but I'm not super upset about getting it. And then, honestly, the Colored Rain Palette, I'm also going to give a point to. So, overall, this was a 4.5 out of 5 um, box, which is extremely, extremely good in my opinion. Um, the only thing that I didn't rate, like, a, to a whole point was the mascara because mascara is just kind of boring. We all know it's just kind of boring. But it is a fact of life that we need mascaras. Um, so this box, like, for my first one, really, really, really impressed. And this blue boxy charm, like, out of the water for me this month. So if you guys have liked what you've seen, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it all. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye.